Hi guys, we got a video here I think I'll do. I've got a 2010 F-150 King Ranch. I uh, had it for, I don't know, several years now. I think I've had it six. And um, I've got 160,000 miles on it now. And it still runs pretty good. It handles super nice. I love it. It rides nice. The King Ranch version gives you everything. Um, it doesn't have a DVD, but I don't care. It's got uh, the navigation, the whole, the whole goodies there, and a comfortable ride. But anyways, we've got New York Rust, and, and I don't have an option of purchasing a new vehicle this year. Prices are up so high that um, I want to do a couple more repairs. I've done uh, videos in the past. I did manifolds and rotors and calipers and... I don't know what else, um, probably something else on it, but I try to keep my vehicles in decent condition and I can't control the rust, but I can do the mechanical repairs pretty good. And what we got is a typical um, rocker panels. If you shut the doors, you get some rust on here. So I know it started, here's some bubbles under here. Um, the fronts aren't too bad. The backs are real bad. This is a driver's side. We've got the uh, weather strip fell down, and I'm like, oh, it's time to do it now. The rocker co rockers, uh, the, the cab corners, I'm sorry, are bad. And so I need to buy um, one style or the other. I think there's three out there, which is slip on covers, which I think are foolish. Uh, they're just a covering. And it gives you no structural support. I'm not a guy to fix things like that. Um, then there's ones that come up to about here. And I think we can either, I think they can say you ribbon them on, you can weld them on. I'm not sure I want the seam here. Um, when I bought this truck, the thing was really nice. And, um, you know, I kind of like things to look good once they're washed. I think I'm probably going to go with the full covers that come all the way up into here. And then you replace them along this rib underneath all the weather strip. And so that's what I want to start on. And I was going to pre-order them, but I'm not sure if we need the back covers or not. When I crawled under there, they looked okay. But I've seen other videos on YouTube where, you know, you start stripping this off and the whole back part rots off with it. So I think I'm going to pause until I get these off before I order anything. I think they usually come within a week. So if I start on one side and I know, I'll go ahead and order them. But uh, today I'm going to have to start by trying to get these running boards off. I like them. They're very strong. They don't move. But I'm pretty sure the bolts are probably going to be in ugly shape under there. So they'll either break off. I don't know if I can heat them because these are plastic. I don't want to overheat them, but I'll probably get the impact out and buzz them off. Give me a better look under there. And sorry for my voice. I've got a sinus cold. We got a good break in the weather right now and uh, probably not wearing my coat like I should, whatever. But hopefully I'll get feeling good in a couple days. Um, let's get a start on this. I think I'm going to stay out here in the parking area of the driveway instead of on the pavement because I have a feeling... When I go to blow them off in there, that a lot of rust and junk's going to fall, and I'll have to clean that off the driveway. So I'll just let it drop here and use a magnet wheel. So let me get a start on it. All right, I got two of these little rhino ramps out. They should be heavy duty enough to hold this. Uh, my son used them on a previous video he did, if you want to check it out. He did a, um oil change for his grandma on her hot rod Subaru. It's kind of funny. Um, but he did a good video on that and he used these ramps. Let's see if it'll hold up this 4,000 plus pound truck. And I think if I do one in the front and the back, I can get it all up about six inches higher. And I'll help my belly get under there. I can get under there, but it's a little tight. Let's see if this works. Yeah, 
looks plenty safe enough. Whenever you're up in the air, you want to jounce it anyway. But the ramps aren't wiggling. And when they're in the dirt like this, this is a crusher run. But when they're in the dirt, they don't slide around. If we're on the blacktop, they tend to walk around and they're a little scary. But I think that's plenty safe. I'm going to set up here and go under and see if we can get them bolts out. Those running boards. Alright, now that we're underneath here. Um... There's one of the bolts. It looks like it's a 13 millimeter. I thought they'd be bigger. And it looks like there's two on that bracket. And if we look across there, they got tape. Tape over some of these right there, drain holes. Might be part of a problem not letting it drain. But it looks like the inside. Looks like the inside rocker panel. Is it okay shape yet? If I shine the light out through there, you can see it. It doesn't look too bad in there. Hi, we got Tiger out here to help. Hi, Tiger. What you doing? Not bad out today, is it? It's like 45 degrees, so spring's coming slowly. Middle of April here. Um, but as I look up through here, you know, we got the New York rust. I don't see rust holes. I just see surface rust, but, and here's more tape on these. Not sure if that's the proper thing to do. I think once moisture gets in there, it's not gonna be able to get out of there. I don't know what that's about, but I think they're supposed to have body plugs in there, if anything, that tape doesn't stick. Um, but then there's uh, brackets up this way, and I got my socket on here now. It's a 13 fits pretty good Well, we'll get these uh, running boards off as you can see here You see the metal swelled up and the moisture right here You can see that um, Looks like the running boards caused most of the problem on this holding moisture there so I Like running boards, but they they're up so close that they don't allow drainage and uh, Well, let me see if I can get that out there's not a lot of room between the frame to get a gun up here. Let me see if I can get that or break a bar. Well guys, believe it or not, I use this six point impact 13 millimeter and every bolt loosens. So I'm gonna get an air ratchet, maybe an electric ratchet and I'll take these out. Now we got, and it's hard to hold the light up here, but we've got, uh, two out of the five bolts out and I can't get an air ratchet in here and I got the the battery ratchet in here and it's not strong enough so I'm back to hand turning I tried a bunch of extensions and offsets I can't get in there so we're back to hand but it looks like there's five bolts I want to keep working on these and lower this uh, running board out so we can get a good look at it. All right, removing those upper bolts didn't help me a whole lot. The bracket didn't come down with it, but the bolts underneath here, I was worried that these were going to shear off because they're not too good looking. Let's see what we can do on the front ones here. Can't quite get on it square. Yeah, I can't get on them square. The plastic's in the way. Let me hammer them up on there. Tapping them up on there helped. Don't sound too good. Cool. Thought they were gonna spin off. Ford better ideas. I think it's got a little little U-bolt or a little nut up there that's on a looks like this one might move, but that front one definitely won't move. That front one broke off and let's now I think we're down to the last <coughs> excuse me, the last one here. Let's see if I can get that out. Yay, now they're gonna fall on my face here. Ugh, I'll get this down. 
Okay, the running board come down. And what do we got up here? Um, I got to check out the bolt situation. I don't see, let me grab this flashlight, but I don't see a lot of rot right now, which is kind of good news. The, uh, the backing looks pretty good to the rocker panel. And underneath here, you see the paint bubble? It's not as bad as I thought. I don't know if both sides are the same. And the worst is the rear. I'll go back here and show you. So on the rear, got some Swiss cheese out there, but on the inner rocker here, it looks like there's no holes in it. But you see right here is a dirt catch. <coughs> I, <don't, coughs> I told you I got this sinus issue going on but I want to get something done on this good day but look at this look at that road salt that stays up in there what a stupid design and I wish they'd use anti on bolts and we wouldn't have this issue it's so cheap when they assemble why don't they automatically do it but I think if I do the complete rocker I can separate this there's those little I don't know if you call them t-nuts or what but they got that little clip so I'll be buying some new one of those and slipping them in. And uh, all the front bolts up here come out of the brackets. And the bottom ones here, a couple of them broke. So I think I would be replacing the bottom nuts on here and the top ones. I'll just use the NICs. So good news so far. See, they don't put any NICs on them. I wish they did. But they end up looking like this can't reuse that stuff I have to be getting some new hardware and look at the the road salt and sand they put in there you know it just has a trap I'm running boards I like to step on them but I don't like the damage it causes so here's our running board and it's in nice shape here's one of the t-nuts it broke see all the debris that gets held up under here not too good and if you take the whole bracket down, you don't have to take them little guys out. The heads of those look pretty nasty. I might end up replacing all the hardware on them. I do like the running board. And if I have uh, my mother ride with me or something, she needs to step on a running board. It's quite a height to get up in the truck. But if it didn't have running boards, you see how the doors wrap down around? Probably a lot of the debris wouldn't have stayed up in there. And if we open the front door... You see, that still looks halfway decent up under there, but I have a feeling when I start taking off weather strips and things, we're going to find some Swiss cheese holes. But the majority of the problem is in the back here. And like I said, I shut the door a couple times in the winter time, and a weather strip fell right out. So this is gone. And part of this piece is no good. The back is good, but I think what I'll do is, is start cutting this away. Not sure I can start it today, but I want to at least get the running boards off and get an idea where we're at. And the whole cab corner will be replaced right on up somewhere in this molding mark. But I don't want to do just covers that don't make sense. Might as well put something structural. You see we got a little surface rust there. So I bet just replacing the whole thing and on the crew cab it comes from the rear comes up over down and all the way up to the front so it's a big long unit. So it'll be quite a project but follow along and we'll see if this is going to be anything you're interested in and anything I wish I never started so uh, we'll talk to you soon. Well, it looks a little funny without the uh, running boards on there but I got to take that that rubber seal off oh we got the squirrel out here we went in grabbed a little bit of lunch and the squirrel's about ready for a nap he likes to be out well i got the running board off there and it's looking better um oh we got the squirrel out here dawson brought out the squirrel dawson's out in his building today doing what are you working on ceiling the what oh the ceiling so make sure you check out dawson robinson's uh channel and uh we let the squirrel out in the sun. He likes that. But what I want to do is uh, pull that rubber seal off and and get this looking 
a little bit better so I can continue to drive it. And I'm going to put the ramps on the other side and try to get the other running board off today. And at least that's a head start. All right, it took about an hour to get this side off. I had to get my son to help me even because I couldn't do it. Looks like some part fell out of flashlight. There's one. And then uh, let me show you here. Not crime under. These stupid Ford Better Idea clips. It's a little clip over nut. These stupid things rot out right here when you try to turn them. All they have to do is lube them up. And uh, on the back side here, if you can see it, this got tape over these holes. I don't know what the object of that is. I would think they'd put in body plugs to be better. But sometimes leaving them open, you could spray stuff in there, like uh, some fluid film or something. And I think I'd like to buy some uh, maybe fluid film in black. I'll brush up and clean all this up or take the sandblaster and blast some of this rusty off from here. And then I can coat this. And then I can either buy new, probably buy new, nuts like this but i'll use anises you guys know i like anises how do you ever get things back off and a running board is a is an add-on so they should be able to take them off and uh but the inside rocker panel looks pretty good on this and then it starts getting crusty right here and this is a back door and then the rear of the quarter pan the uh cab corner but the front up here is a little paint chipped here but there's no hole but because it comes in one long panel, I'm not going to piecemeal it. I'll go ahead and put the whole new one on there. And But the back looks pretty good. Once I get this off, um, we can do a little uh, paint prep on the inside and get them nicer. Buy some new little nut clips there, whatever the hell they're called. And then uh, put this back together when I'm done. So I'm getting kind of excited to get this off. And I am tired and my sinuses hurt. But... As we open this door, Dawson's working on his building over there today, and he asked me if I could use some help, and he saved the day. I didn't get that running board on my face, but I used the, uh, where is it here? I took one of my bits, and I sharpened it up, and I tried to cut the head of that bolt off. All that vibration might have helped, but it didn't work. Well, you see this, <laughs> same thing on the driver's side. It's the passenger's, but I'll... That's pretty crusty. New York. And uh, so I want to fix this all up. So follow along. This might take me. I'll probably, because it's got a full frame on the truck, I'm not concerned. But I'll probably go ahead and keep driving this while I work on it. While I'm playing, guys, I just want to see what we got going on. Looks like there's some undercoating. And, you know, here's the spot welds. They have different types of tools, a drill bit, you drill into it, you can grind them off. I'll probably start off with a grinder, but you can get in here and separate these panels. I better turn this down. Uh, start slow on this. See, we want to peel that off in there. So that's what we're going to, we have to do is I... See that so if I separate this one from the inside one and I keep this edge looking really nice and straight I think I can sandblast and grind get that clean so I can re mig weld that back on there on the new one 